you know, you got to use heavy lead. I mean, you got to. You can't be using a 25 pound test and 40 pound test leader. I got some good baits. Look at that. I come up. Oh, he is right here. I set the hook on that five ball J hook, baby. Bam! Got you on a big old pinfish. Big, big, big snook. Back down here, I'm gonna see if I can catch some grunts for bait. The plan is to head out on the beach today, fish around some rocks, if it's not too windy. Let's see what happens. Little bitty tiny hooks. Always forget to bring a rag. Squid is stinky stuff, man. First cast, baby, first cast. Oh, that's a little little bitty dinker there, man. That was a pinfish. Little bitty guy. The reason why I like to use squid instead of shrimp is it stays on the hook better. I mean, these guys are biting like crazy and these pieces of squid are staying on the hook. No big ones here today. Boys, it is hot out here. Woo! About 90 degrees. I'm out here in the middle of the day, man. It's like 12.30. Figured I'd give myself a couple hours to catch some bait here. Some decent bait. These little guys are so small, man. I'm going to go up on the pier. Not having any luck here. Well, I managed to find some decent sized pinfish finally. It took me forever. But pretty excited. Got some nice baits, man. So get out here. Let's go do some fishing. This place I'm going to I actually hooked some decent snook there last year during the summer. I mean, we're in the middle of June right now and the snook are making their way out to the beaches and in the inlets to spawn. And I was out on these docks, there were a bunch of rocks, big snook hanging out out there. And actually Danny caught a nice, and we were out there tarpon fishing, he caught a nice snook by accident on a mullet. And I went back out there about, I don't know, maybe two or three weeks later. I had some pinfish, I got hooked up with a couple snook, but I had lighter gear. I actually had been fishing for snapper that morning but anyway, you guys, so it is a beautiful day. I mean, I generally don't fish in the middle of the day like this. I like to get, you guys have been watching the channel, you know, I like to get up at sunrise and get out there and try and get on the fish. But I had a leaky tire, man. Had to get my tire patched up and get my tires rotated today. Had to get that fixed. Got a late start. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna come out here to the beach and give it a shot and see if we can't get on something. I haven't been out here in a long time, so. Give it a try, man. It's all we can do, right? I got some good baits, look at that. Look at that, that snook right there. Look at that snow coming in hot, baby, coming in hot. There are definitely big snook out here. I was just over on that other pier. It was like, some guy came swimming over there, there's like 30 snook came out from underneath the dock. A couple of them were big, most of them were small. I fished for two hours. No hits, man. No hits at all. Couldn't get any of those snook interested. There's just too much activity around there. People swimming under the docks, 
spooking the snook out, people jumping off of the docks. I think the idea is to come out here first thing in the morning or at night. So, you know, I didn't even see what time the park closes. I'm gonna go back and take a look and see. And yeah, the signs say no parking between 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. So like, apparently the beach closes at nine. That's not enough time to fish at night because the sun goes down at 8.30, so suck E. But 5 a.m. and get down here an hour and a half before the sun comes up, that would be the time to do it for sure. The trick is don't step on the really little rocks because those are the ones that tip. Look at those pinfish, man. Look at the size of these guys. Look at that. Look at that big old pinfish. We just might get a big one. We might get a big one today. Oh, there's so many rocks down there. So many rocks. I'm gonna have to really lock down on a fish if we get hooked up here. There's just tons of rocks down there, man. Big baits for big fish. Crap. Oh, snap. Impossible. Just impossible. Two baits gone. Hey, if you're not getting hung up, you're not fishing where the fish are at. All right, rig number three. Here we go. There he is. Oh, he hit it on the way up. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh oh. He's getting me in the rocks. Come on, dude. Oh, man. It's a big snook. Big snook. Big snook. Oh, God. Dude, get out of the rocks. Big snook. There's a big rock right here. I gotta let him run. I'm losing. There he is. No! Oh. Ain't nobody gonna watch to watch your 58 year old butt. What? There he is. Woo! Baby. Nice. Oh. Persistence pays off. Yeah, man. That's a good one. That is a good one. Nice. Dude, he hit it when I was reeling it up. It's about a 34 inch snook. Ha <laughs> Good snook. Dude, that is a tank. Big, big, big snook. Woo! All right. Got him on a 5 alt J hook. All right. Whoa, slippery. Slippery. Let's get this by guy back in the water here see ya there he goes all right swimming off strong baby Woo! patience pays off man I almost quit it was it's I literally guys it's 95 degrees out at the beach where I was fishing and I had to drive over this bridge and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go down there in that spot, see if I can get hooked up with a snook. That's the same, same area right in there where I caught that big one about three weeks ago. He hit it right in there, I was reeling it up. I thought I was hung. He grabbed it. I thought I was hung, I felt him pull back. I set the hook on that five alt J hook, baby. Bam! Got you on a big old pinfish. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah! <laughs> I'm fishing with a 5-aught hook with 80-pound test monofilament leader. 
Nailed that big old snook. I catch big snook on 80 pound tests during the day, fishing like this with pinfish. I think it's a reaction strike. I mean, I was just reeling that pinfish up and he nailed it. But when you're fishing around rocks like this, man, I mean, these rocks are all down in there and uh, you got to use heavy leader. I mean, you got to, you can't be using a 25 pound test and 40 pound test leader. This leader right here is frayed. I had a seven foot leader. It's frayed all the way up the leader. I mean, he was all up in those rocks the entire time. All right, I got to completely re-rig here and uh, get back down there, see if we can get another one, man. Andy Line, this is the brand I use. It's monofilament. Andy Premium, 80 pound test clear. I'll put a link in the description area. Oh, snap! Yep, re-rigging time. It gets frustrating losing rigs, but if you want to catch big snook, you got to fish around places where there's structure. That's my third rig that I've lost, but I caught a big snook, right? So I'm going to get re-rigged. I still got some more pinfish. I'm going to drop down. The tide is really slowing down right now, but that's just the cost of fishing, man. You know, when I fish at the jetties and I catch sheep's head from the shore, it's the same kind of deal. Like you're just sacrificing rigs all the time because you're fishing around the rocks, but that's where the fish are. You got to fish where the fish are, right? So yeah, it's a little bit irritating, but when there's a chance of catching a big snook, it's worth it, man. Now, I don't tie an FG knot when I'm down here. I tie a Unity Uni because it takes too long to tie an FG knot. I can tie an FG knot in about two minutes, but a Unity Uni, I can do that in about one minute. So, all right, let's do it, man. Oh, there's a hit. That's a hit. Does not feel like a snook, though. All right, we got him. We got him. Fish on. It's a good fish. It's a good one. Get out of there. Oh yeah, we got us a red grouper. Mr. Grouper. These little guys fight, man. Got me a little grouper hole. How many of these have I caught in the last two months? Probably 30. Thanks for the catch, little guy. Woo!